12 Days of Beards Miss is back. Let's go, baby. I am genuinely excited for this one. I love this series. It's a lot of work, but I do believe it's worth it because I know many of you look forward to it. You enjoy it. It'll bring in new people to the channel, and it's just a lot of fun. And essentially what this is is 12 days in a row. I'm going to give you guys a short history lesson on someone that has or had facial hair. I'm going to highlight a company, and we're going to do a giveaway. The giveaway is totally free, no purchase necessary, anybody can enter, and this series has nothing to do with religion, nothing to do with where you are from. We want to bring people together. Everybody is welcome. Let's just embrace this time of the year, have some fun with this. If you guys are as excited as me, or at least half as excited, please hit a thumbs up on the video. That is amazing. I'll give you guys all the details of the giveaway a little bit later on, but essentially it's going to be one free person, and it's going to be around a $50 giveaway every single day, whether it's a product, a combo, a gift card, we'll go over all of that. So today, guys, the first one that we're going to go over, the first history lesson is going to be... Boom! Rolo the Viking. Now, some of you right away are like, oh my gosh, I recognize that picture. Oh man, I know that name. I've seen him in movies or I've seen him in popular TV shows. Well, his character is actually real, like 100% real. Now, of course, the TV shows and the movies, they kind of bend the little course of history a bit. Unfortunately, he is not the brother of Ragnar Lothbrook. Uh, it's not even his real name. It's kind of like his adopted or nickname, but luckily it is way easier to pronounce than his Scandinavian birth name. And he is from Scandinavia. We're not exactly sure where within there. There's a couple of different claims that are pretty passionate. So we're just gonna say Scandinavia because we know that is accurate. Something else that we know is he was a giant of his time. He would still be a very large human today. The reports say that he was over 300 pounds in 6'5". Whoo, baby. Now, of course, anything with history over time can kind of get exaggerated or a little bit like pumped up, you know, but we do have some credible sources and reports that say this is how tall he was, this is how big he was, and his nickname comes from the idea that they believe there was no horse on this planet that he could ride. What a name that <laughs> he was too big to ever ride on a horse. Now, he was a great warlord, a great warrior, likely with some high-level training back in Scandinavia. And he did many things. He sieged uh, Paris, which was a really big deal for the Vikings back then. But his real big claim to fame was Normandy. He ended up becoming what they would call him as the Duke of Normandy, even though it wasn't really the official path to become a duke. But he just was never challenged for the land again. He got into a conflict. He was offered land as kind of like a treaty or a peace agreement, and they settled on Normandy, an uh, area of France today, that was good for both sides. It wasn't the greatest land in the world. It was kind of marshy. It had some problems, but he accepted it on the terms that he would get baptized and become a Christian. So he did get baptized. He did become a Christian. He took this land on and he really embraced the leadership role. He really improved the land. He wanted to make everybody's lives great. But at the same time, while he was a great leader and he was very fair, he was very firm. Some would say harsh, especially for the area that he was ruling in. Any crime essentially had the death penalty, no matter if it was murder or matter if it was stealing or even talking negatively about the ruler. And there's a couple of stories that I read in detail that really highlighted this. The first one is there was a husband and wife farmer duo. Well, the husband finds out that he's been robbed from. So he goes and reports this to Rolo. Rolo is very, very kind and says, I will reimburse you for all of this. We'll find out who did this. I am so sorry. So he gives them everything that was taken and then as time goes on, Rolo kind of hears some chirps that, wow, maybe it was the actual family and it could have been the wife that stole all this stuff and then kind of got the husband in as like an accessory on the crime. So Rolo ends up torturing the wife until she admits it and confesses. And then the husband confesses and says, I did know eventually, I didn't know she was doing it when I told you, but then she, I had to cover it up and lie for her. Well, he had them taken publicly and executed in a very brutal way to send a message to everybody. And that was one of the first like kinds of terrors where everyone's like, oh, whoa, hey, Rolo is not playing games. And then another story that is another interesting one is there was a small group of men that were talking about Rolo and his wife in a negative way. And Rolo thought that was a challenge to his reputation. Same thing, taken to public, called a huge meeting for everybody to watch while he brutally had them killed. 
Mm, you can imagine there was not a lot of crime under his watch. The penalty was so severe that nobody really kind of wanted to do anything. And, and while he ruled, nobody challenged him. He didn't have these crazy wars. He just went on and built a legacy. He has a lot of sons and grandsons that went, went on to be great leaders, worldwide leaders. There's actually an interesting stat that most Americans have some lineage of Rollo the Viking. We can find a path to being related to him. Some claim that's 100% of Americans. I'm not going to go there, but a lot of us are related to him. Now, later in life on this series, I always like to cover how they died. Just, I think for the times and the history, I think it's an interesting thing. Oftentimes sad and tragic, but interesting nonetheless. His was just dying of old age. He actually lived a very healthy life, died of old age. Uh, we can go visit his tomb today. You can go see his tomb, uh, which is a kind of cool little tidbit. And again, his son from uh, all the different sons went on. He had grandsons that ruled in Europe and grandsons all over the place and just left a huge legacy. And it's kind of cool to see him depicted on popular movies and TV shows today. Man. And what, what a way to start off with who doesn't like some Viking history with Rolo the Viking. Boom, baby, let's go. All right, the first company that we are going to highlight, and these are, I, I don't know if we want to call them sponsored or what they are. I'm not paid for this, but they are all affiliates. So if you guys use my link and or my code, I do get a commission on those sales. And today is going to be Fable Beard Co. My discount code there. I'll put it up over here if I could remember. And editing is DanC20, as always, to save you guys 20% from them. Uh, but again, they're not paying me for this, but they are supplying the giveaway, which I'm really excited for you guys to know about. And the giveaway is what we're actually going to highlight today. And that would be their Juggernaut or AKA their growth elixir. Essentially what this is, is a powder supplement for your beard. It's a multivitamin for your beard. Now let me tell you what it will do and let me tell you what it will not do. It 100% can speed up the growth rate of almost all beards that are watching this right now. It can also help the health of the hair and the skin. Really, really top level, well-researched, legit stuff right here from the bottom of my heart. Now what it won't do is it's not magic. This is is not going to fill in patches. This is not a drug. This is not something where it's going to miraculously save your beard. It is just a supplement, right? It's like working out. If you take supplements, they can really help your health and help your gains. But if you're not working out, they don't do a whole lot. Kind of the same deal here. You still need to take care of your beard. It's just simply a little aid into that boost. We are going to be giving one of these away. This is like a $55 growth supplement that lasts a quite a long time, but one of you is gonna win this 100% free. So for this giveaway, very, very simple. You need to be subscribed to this channel. I can check, that is one thing that is a requirement of this. And then the second thing is drop a comment down below and tell me any thought on your perspective with history. Are you a history buff? Are you a history casual? Do you despise history but you like it when I tell the story just give me your thoughts and your experience was it your favorite class in high school have you just started to appreciate it as you've gotten older that would be amazing if you guys want bonus karma points I can't really check this one but if you want bonus karma points putting it out in the atmosphere especially this first episode you guys very important and a great easy way to help me out help out the beard community share this video I rarely ask that, but if you could share this on your Facebook, share this on your Instagram story, Instagram post, a group chat, Twitter. I'm not really active on Twitter, so that could be a cool thing. Maybe you're in a Discord chat. Anywhere you could share this video and get people hooked on the series, hooked on taking care of their beard and embracing just a positive, supportive community could go a very long way with helping so many people out there. So those are the rules. That is my ask of you guys as well. Cannot wait to get into these comments. Again, guys, it's going to be every day. These videos are going to be out. We'll announce the winner on the next video and we just keep it rolling. So thank you guys for all the love. Thank you for all the support and please... Let me first say, my name is Dancy Bearded, and I hope that you guys stay bearded and stay positive.